as the police force cracks down on the carjacking ring that has been terrorizing motorists over recent years. It has revealed that several ex-cops were involved in the racket. In fact, last week, two former officers were remanded for several separate carjacking incidents dating back since 2015. However, Crime Chief Paul Williams, in a recent interview with the DPI, pointed out that Jason Harry, who was arrested and charged after police found several car parts at his Kurukuru suits like Linden Highway residence, is not an ex-cop, but was in fact dismissed as a recruit. Williams, who was then the force's training officer, disclosed that after passing the three level of background checks, he ordered the man's dismissal after observing his behavior and finding his conduct to be unethical. The former training officer went on to lament that the labeling of such persons as ex-officers, when in fact their stint was short-lived or in this case, they didn't even make it past the graduation, is bringing the force's reputation into disrepute. Only last week, Public Security Minister Kemrat Ranjitan expressed disgust over the involvement of former law enforcement officers in the criminal racket, who are not only involved but are providing advice to the players. These carjackers, how to do it, where to park it, how to switch around and a whole heap of things. We're going to have problems and that is why it took us so long to catch this set of carjackers because they were smarter. But I must also say that we had the cooperation of citizens who were seeing all these cars parking up there and who also became aware through the news that they are stealing cars. So they also help identify where they are. Michael Young, The Evening News.